The 2020 census numbers released earlier this month show several cities in Michigan had populations drop by double digits. In Muskegon Heights, the numbers aren't that big, down by about 9%. Still, city leaders are concerned. Tonight, 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter John Mills brings us the latest effort to attract new people to the community. From 2010 to 2020, the city of Muskegon Heights lost nearly 950 residents, and the scars of that population loss are visible all around this community. Nearly 400 vacant lots and homes in Muskegon Heights belong to the county's land bank and the city's population is shrinking. Mayor Walter Watts well, says absolutely. that's I mean, not that good. Is, that is a troubling trend. A trend Watts City Manager Troy Bell and the City Council hope to end. Muskegon Heights is purchasing 21 homes on back taxes. Later this year, those homes will be made available for only what the city paid to get title to the properties. In some cases, just a couple of thousand dollars to be able to get folks that that love our community that are from our community to transition in, into the home ownership. We need to retain our own properties and allow our community to be developed. The properties do need hard work, TLC and renovations. As we do that, our neighborhoods become better. Our, our, our community becomes cleaner. It is jobs in the community for plumbers, electricians. I got this house for a good deal, so I'm like, uh, I'm here. Clifton Barton just moved to Muskegon Heights from Grand Rapids. It's a two bedroom, all wood floors. One of the homes the city will be selling is next door. He's mowing the lot today to improve his new street. Because it's curb appeal. We have to be for each other, you know. And he's planning to check on the price of this home. It could be his next investment in Muskegon Heights. And later this month, the city will post photos and descriptions of all the properties that are available on its website. Anyone interested in purchasing a property should attend an informational meeting that's being planned for early September. In Muskegon Heights, John Mills, 13 on your side.